Who's your right winger right before the game yesterday? Um, what's that like with just last second changes in a lot of time? Ah, uh, with the you know, waiting for all the negative, positive tests or all the test results. You know, that's been a case. Maybe not that close, um, like right before the game. Uh, but I feel like we played with uh, most of the guys at this point. So um, obviously uh, you have to adjust a little bit. But um, at that point, you just go out and play. And, um, I thought uh, I thought Hansi did a good job, and uh, um, you just have to be ready for for anything really. Was, was there much of a conversation going into the second period, not just about adjustments, but moving uh, Panarin up to your line? Like, was, did Coach say anything about that, or just said go do it? Didn't say much. Just <laughs> put us together, and, yeah. and uh, um, it was up to us to go and play. And um, yeah, it was. Uh, I, I thought. I thought it worked pretty good. Um, yeah, maybe a little bit different form to play on the right side, um, but I thought it was. Um, I thought it was working. Obviously, we're down, um, down another forward too with Phil, Phil out, and um, um, just to have to really make the best out of that situation. And, and uh, I thought we did a good job in the in the second uh, and, and uh, battled back. So that was uh, that was a positive. What is it like when you get Panarin up on the wing there? Does it, you know, obviously his skill level is just so high, just to have two high skill wingers at your disposal. What is what is that like? Oh, that's good. <laughs> uh, I think that's what, you know, you never say no to that. Um, and again, I think it's just, you don't have to, I don't think me, me or Kreitz have to change anything. Um, I mean, we're, we're three very different players and, and uh, just got to, uh, take advantage of each other's strengths, and I think uh, that's what we did last game. Um, and and um, uh, hopefully we can continue that and and uh, just uh, just keep going like that. Does it send a message, or does it does it like kind of put more onus on you guys to spark the team when he makes that change? Um, yeah, maybe, but I think we talked about it. Uh, you know, you. As a the, the the ice time that we get, um, and and in a situation like that, in a game like that, you um, you need everyone to step up, and I think everyone takes that um, try to takes that ownership and, and try to make make a difference and, and uh, try to get something going. And um, I thought um, I thought all the lines did that. Uh, every guy that was playing did that, and um, you know, it was obviously a bad first, but but I thought we. Uh, uh, worked ourselves back into the game and, and uh, capitalized on our chances, and, and uh, that's what we needed. We just talked to Barclay Goudreau. W what have your impressions been of, of the impact that he's had? I think when he came, everyone talked about the two cups, the winning culture that he would bring, all that. But getting to know him a little bit now, like what have your impressions been of, of the impact he's made on the team? I mean, he he's lived up to every expectation, really. Um, obviously, get to know him as a guy too. Uh, very humble. Um, and, and just just really does everything for the team, um, and you can tell the, the way where he plays. You know, um, sometimes on the wing and sometimes um, at, at center, and, and uh, doesn't matter what line he plays on, he, he does his job. And um, I think just an all-around unbelievable pro, and, and you can tell. And, um, and I think that kind of you know, guys notices that, and, and, and uh, that's obviously a good thing. So his impact has been huge uh, for us to uh, to have on this team. Is anything Chris is doing now surprising you, Kreider? No, <laughs> not really. Um, I think just this year he's been, I think, playing played to his strengths a lot more, um, a lot more consistent too. Uh, I feel like he's. Uh, it's weird to say. What is he? Thirty, thirty-one. Yeah, I mean, just for <laughs> even at that age, I feel like he's you know he's getting better, and um, I think just uh, you know it might be not be the coolest role or the the ones you see on Instagram, on YouTube, and all that stuff. But but the the stuff he does, he he does better than anyone else. I feel like, and and he's really um, um, he's really you know I think. 
taken a lot of pride in that, and, and uh, everything that he's doing right now is just, you know, um, really well deserved uh, for the work he puts in and, and uh, um, everything that he's done over the years. He, he won't talk to us about his success personally, but do you guys, is that something that within the team you guys can talk about, hey, you're having a great year, or do you just like not approach that topic <laughs> at all whatsoever? No, I, I don't know. We joke around about him being hot, but he's been hot for 42 games. So. <laughs> um, no, I mean, obviously people see it. Um, he's a big key guy for us. Um, and and um, I think it's just not, I mean, it's obviously it's easy to, to look at his stats, um, but what he does um, on the PK this year, uh, in the defensive zone and just the way he plays all around, I think has been um, unbelievable. And I, I think that's, there's more credit to give him there, um, and not just only to uh, to the amount of goals he scored. Um, I think he's just doing it all right now, and that's uh, um, that's good to see. I'm ha I'm I'm happy for him as well, and, and that obviously helps our team, helps our line. So um, that's a big thing. Have the two of you made each other better players? I would like to think so. <laughs> um, I mean, when when I again, I, I think I've said this before, but I. That was my first winger um, from day one, and we've been playing pretty much um, you know, every year. Um, a big part of every season we play together, and, and um, more you play together with a with someone, I think you build that kind of chemistry and you understand each other. And, and um, obviously, being a um, great friend uh, helps a lot too. Um, I think we. Um, we demand a lot from each other, uh, both on and off the ice, and, and I think that's a, that's a good thing. And um, trying to trying to make each other better, um, and, and uh, you know, it's it's fun to have that. It's fun to have that consistency of a, a line mate and, and um, someone you can trust and someone you understand. So that's um, that's obviously a positive. When you talk about him on the PK, you're a guy who's done that stuff. Does. Just contributing defensively on the PK all around, does that help you in some ways offensively? Like, does that make you feel more confident if you feel like you're doing a lot of different things for the team? Yeah, I mean, it's it's not just about like us in that sense, or you, I, I don't know, I don't think about it that way. But um, you know, any any way you can help the team is is gonna boost your confidence, even if uh, you only play PK or you only play. PP or whatever it is, I think it's um, you. You get an opportunity. You, you're trusted in a certain situation. You want to make the best out of it, and you you want to make sure that you um, you do that as good as you you can uh, to help the team. And uh, obviously, it's uh, you know for for Kreitz not to play PK a lot uh, has done a really good job, and I think he's getting more comfortable with it and, and, and more confident in that. And, and um, you know, you have a you have a good kill um, as a team that that kind of gives your gives your team a bit more momentum as well. Come out of a good kill and 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 try to bring that momentum back. And I think that's a, that's a big thing for for everyone that's playing all these situations.